just exactly where I'd like to be. It's always been a challenge to try to teach something that's so practical and hands-on. You'd think of a classroom as a teacher stands in front of the room and kids sit in desks and you try to explain to them something that's happening. Um, when in reality, you explaining to them what's happening is, is so far removed from them actually doing it. Um, I really think that this space, the goal behind this whole studio, behind Soda Studios, was to create an environment where the classroom is really just the very beginning. It's the launching point. And the actual real work, the real experiences and those life-changing moments that really, where a kid really grasps it, come totally outside of the classroom. When they're actually working on a project, working alongside an artist that they respect, seeing the possibility of great and relevant work being done, and literally having their hands in the final product and being proud of the final result. I'm getting so much experience here that I wouldn't be able to get at a different high school. I do a lot more than just things for soda and I really think that that community has grown and will grow into the future. So hopefully it continues and you know flourishes, I guess. I wanted a space that was basically a, a giant laboratory for kids to experiment and try. They have to try something and sometimes it doesn't work out at all but they tried it and that experience of going through and, and trying something new is what really leads to the most learning. Like, I know like well, the two, you can't change the, the two melodies are the same like even though it's Oregon. Can or you like, like do a walk down from up here or something? Like? No get a different sound. My vision is that I want this space to be not only a place for the students to work um, but I want to be a place for artists to come and work in this space alongside students. It's definitely good to have this kind of experience and really a good transition, I think, into what I want to be doing later in life. They, um, they're just full of amazing ideas and a ton of motivation and so much support from the people around them, encouraging them to continue to, to pursue what they love that it's, you just get this overflow of like, how in the world is this, <laughs> this is actually high school work? Like, this is professional level work. <laughs> tell me on a regular basis that one of the most valuable things that we have uh, here at the school are the open critiques and the critiques are set up in such a way that students are able to receive direct and immediate feedback for their artwork. You may think your picture is too dark but when you put it next to everyone else's you see oh my gosh my picture is really living in a light fog. You don't realize these things until she she pulls out the, what the other kids did. Critiquing artwork has um, a number of of different areas that, that I think are really important and are of value to a student. And it's not just the work itself, but it's also your ability to speak intelligently about your art. She just has a way of telling you without her showing you. I've never seen her draw in front of me. If you watch her draw, you might take her style. She's not into that. She wants you to style with what is in you. She wants you to develop your own style, your own thing. If, you, if your students trust you, and, and if you have the integrity and you grant them their integrity, they'll, they will surprise you every time with how far and how fast they can fly. Every time I raise the bar, they jump higher. Every single time. I, in all the 30 years of experience I've had, it never fails, and they continue to blow me out of the water on a regular basis. I, I walk around with these drawings in my hand, showing them to other instructors going, look, look what they did. This is even better than last semester. I can't believe it. I have a good job. I like my job a lot. And I think students are amazing and they inspire me every single day. I'm really lucky for what I do. Okay, that's it. Is that enough? If I could be just exactly